lonely. I can fix that. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we are going to Ucon 2023. Yeah, yeah. Chris is here. He's cosplaying. Chris, who are you today? I'm going to be Shin from Doro Hidoro. You'll see me behind the mask. We uh, did a photo shoot. If you want to check that out, it's on my Instagram. But also, I'll, I'll link it for our TikTok video. Anyway, yeah, Ucon 2023. Here we come. All right, so it looks like we're rocking the same uh, venue we had last year, which is inside this big old gymnasium. Uh, very open, apparently very empty. There's really no one here yet. I think it's just because it's Friday. It's the first day, and they just opened about an hour ago. So, yeah, it's not filled up quite yet, but so far still remains a pretty fucking huge uh, vendor hall here. And uh, maybe we'll do some actual panels today. Who knows? But I do like the fact that they wax. That's cool. It's always nice to have a waxed floor. And uh, yeah, this is it's nice. Nice and cool in here. And uh, a lot of space. I like having space at a con. I don't like feeling crowded. This shit sucks. Mm. Christian's already wearing this shirt. But we come to the first booth we see and it's more shirts. He, he's about a cop one. I'm about a cop one. Uh, I think yeah, this Death Note one. Super nice. Bleach one's good. Rolling one's good. Where are you going to land? And straight ahead is going to be the guest booths. Booths? Way away from everybody. So we got, uh, we got Dante Bosco, aka Zuko. We got Starkiller, Sam Witwer, Steve Mary Bloom. Elizabeth. Uh, Jim Snoggin. Cummings. Chris likes Jim Cummings. Dude, that's uh, a furry. That's cool. Just look at all this unused space. It's crazy. Ever seen a con with so much empty space before? Never. I appreciate it. I like the walking space. All right, so I went to the bathroom right now, and I guess back that way there's more. Uh, vendor hall so i guess there's that to look forward to which is cool because right now i was like it's a little underwhelming but if there's two sides to it that's even better because it makes it bigger and more stuff to do so i guess we'll check that out in a second look at this these blankets they're insane crazy work i don't know how they do it it's just it's all amazing to me shout out to this artist there's uh oh, salami Mommy Productions. Crazy. Now this is the next area that I was talking about. Uh, kind of vendor, but it looks like it's more activities. They have a cornhole. Oh, that's Ooh. pretty cool. Little mini games. We got... Hands. Uh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, Shigaraki. There you go. Oh, that's where the panels are going to be, I think, because she's doing a panel currently. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? We got people... Yeah, vendors and stuff. So, oh, yeah, this is like the gaming area, too. So, okay, this makes sense. This is where you come into your gaming area stuff. Yeah, this is a happy meme place. Okay, this is like the activity room. Okay, I like that. A little activity side of everything as opposed to just being all one room. So maybe if they just move this all to the other one, it wouldn't be as empty. But then you wouldn't have any space. So, so far. I like the decision so far. We got a little uh, photo setup, photo booth setup here for cosplayers. That's cool. Focusing on the cosplayers more specifically for this con. Watch out, he almost fell. He almost <laughs> fell. Uh, yeah, so I like that, that they're putting focus on cosplayers and people who uh, are cosplaying in, in costume alike. It is Halloween weekend, by the way, so um, that's also great real estate to have mm. to be doing your stuff as well on the holiday weekend because you can dress up for Halloween, but also you can double as dressing up as somebody from a property. So you, like. you get like a test so run for sweaty. your costume, maybe, you know? Yeah, so, like, see how testers. People react? Chris is sweaty currently. He's wearing an all plastic mask. It's fun. This is the first. I uh, I really wanted to do it because everyone's like, don't wear the latex stuff. It's terrible. It's awful. You're not going to be able to breathe. Wow. They were right. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I've already bought something. He got a shirt, actually. I've been he got here 10 minutes. A Majin Vegeta shirt. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. I'm not taking it out of the bag. That's pretty cool. Thanks. Why not? You should switch out. Because I want you. Change it up. No. All right. Fine. I'll wear it. All right. Here. How's that guy's name? Uh, he's right behind you, isn't he? 
Oh no. All right, Shannon, I need fucking 15 minutes of solid play out there for you, please. All right, I need you to get out there. Just hustle up. Just grab some boards. I don't think too I fancy. I just need you to be... I just need you to go out there and give me 15 solid minutes. Can you do that? No. Can you do... Hold this, please. No. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Come on. Get your ass out there. Come on. All right, we're on the prowl for some good eats here. Uh, I think last year we had these buns, and I uh, wasn't a fan of them. So I know not to get that this time. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah they're, little, they're not what I wanted. Dumpling broken. Takoyaki ball, that's cool. We got F3, the sponsorship. Get some little energy in ya. We got foreign snacks, donuts, ramen, and some other stuff. So uh, we'll, we'll see what we get here. My man, Prolo, watch your film. Watch your film on Gone. Figure out a way to beat his ass. <laughs> All right, food's been acquired. I got me a steak and cheese. AKA a Philly cheese steak. Anyway, we'll see how this is. How's your chicken tendies? I'm basically just, you know, it's, it's chicken tendies. Pretty solid? Yeah. And Chris got himself a little karage plate. First bite. Let's see. Is it Buster's? Nice. No, Bonaco. Got my first purchase, got my Toto. I've been waiting for this one to pop forever. Uh, shout out to Eric. We ran into Eric and Brandon, good homies. I ran up behind him and choked his ass out. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts of this con? This is your first con here. Oh, you know, you went to me as Comic Con. This is your first Ulu con. As a resident of Mesa, how do you, how are you liking it so far? Not, not too great. Uh, just not what I was expecting and uh, I feel like I didn't get my value for my money. He's coming from a collector's point of view. He's collecting pops and toys and Pokemon cards. So I guess as a collector, you've been let down. Yes. But as the event so far, you haven't really, you haven't been here very long. How do you feel about the event so far, though? What? I don't know what's going on. Like, oh, he, they came on a whim. They came at, like from a yard sale, and they're like, "What's an Ubu con? It's a con. So you're gonna have like uh, panels, and you have obviously vendor booths and shit. You have people cosplaying and stuff like that. It's a typical con experience. So I guess That's compared to Phoenix Comic one. Con, how are you feeling? I like Phoenix Comic-Con better. Phoenix Comic-Con better, okay. All right, Brennan, what about you? What are your thoughts on the Ubu Con so far? Honestly, I agree with everything he said. And it's you are also coming from a collector's point of view. Yes. But you're a fan of anime. Yeah, it's and pretty And as a fan mid. of anime, you say yeah. it's mid? I think it's mid, honestly. What have you seen so far? Just this booth? You haven't seen anything over there? Any of the panels or anything? A lot of boobs. <laughs> Damn, mid. All right, two mid so far. Harsh critics. Just playing a little cornhole with the boys, you know. All right, so that's three. Three, so no points. I'm still at four. All right, watch this. Y'all ain't never seen anybody play cornhole so well. Oh shit, oh shit, see? <laughs> That's how good I am. I already beat them, but they're doing this thing where like, they start to lose, so they pretend like they don't care anymore. They're like, I don't, I'm not gonna keep scoring, what the fuck is, who cares if we even play anymore? So I'm done, beat these fucking clowns. Loser, loser. So that was their panel of uh, anime tinder i guess you have to guess who the profile is and the last one if you guys noticed that it was um dobby from my hero and i just saw a spoiler i don't read the manga so now i know the fate of him so damn all right my friend eric the one he saw earlier a second ago uh he, he left for a while we split up but now he said he has a gift for me and to come meet him so i'm wondering what it's gonna be i'm thinking a pop maybe we'll see all right i'm gonna shoot let's see what they got me let's see what you guys got me let's see what is it? Oh, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel deck. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Why, why'd you pick this one? Uh, they got some some yeah, sick yeah. ass Pokemon cards. He said they're gonna they're gonna be some sleepers. So if you're looking to collect the Pokemon cards, I guess find this one specifically. There's no market for it yet, but we're about to set the market. <laughs> we're about to set it. So we're using the gift that I got from Eric, and we're actually playing a couple games of Speed Duel. I'm using the Crystal Beast deck, and Chris, you're using the Blaze Accelerator deck. Yes. And Venom's gonna be using the Ojama deck. Love it. So I guess it was a good gift. Thanks, thanks, Eric. Shout out to you. Also, there's a panel going on right here. You look good. Hold on. No, that looks better. So 
the girl from uh, Hunter Hunter. Everybody really thinks that she's pretty, which, you know, yeah, okay. But for you, your top three anime crushes right now. Tell them. Tell oh, them. shit. That's hard. Come on, you got top it. Top three anime crushes? Yeah. I'm just going to go out top. Android 18. Android 18, okay. That's a good one. Right. Uh, fuck. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Damn, I can't go off top of it. I see all the anime today and all this other shit. You're from Spy Family. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, Better figure it out. Uh, I'm uh, 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 uh. Hold on, let me look around real quick. Let me look around. <laughs> let me just check. Fucking five, uh, four, uh, three, two. Uh, Robin from One Piece. All right. <laughs> what about you? Uh, top three anime crushes. Uh, Bulma. Bulma. Your. Your. Damn. Major two Kusanagi. Yours? Major Kusanagi from. A Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. All right, so we got two yours there. That's not bad. Uh, and for me, it's gonna be the Epcot Ball. Like all right so we're winding down here at uh, ubu con and i want to just give a little thoughts like i always do with these and uh yeah let's see we're here on a friday halloween weekend so i do still enjoy that they have this on halloween weekend because it kind of gives you a chance to double up on your costume situation if you came uh in cosplay you could use that for halloween that's it's always fun it's always good to be resourceful and to recycle things uh, as far as the con goes itself, uh, let's see. It is a fun little time here. Only complaint, a little pricey, but I guess that's on us because we waited so long to get our tickets, but if you just bought it the day of or like the day before like I did, it was like 60 bucks to get in, and I'm not sure if the price of admission is worth it on a Friday. On a Friday, it's a little slower, which is cool because like there's nobody really around so no one really gets in your way, but also it's like, hey man, I want to you know enjoy people. Like Chris came in cosplay, Look at him. He's not. He's out of his costume right now, apparently. But yeah, he came in cosplay and he was hoping to, you know, get some more interaction with other cosplayers or people who recognized him. And there wasn't really too many of them because there was a lot of people. Look at this. Look at this. It's huge. Look at this. <laughs> it's a huge venue, which I do enjoy. And it's also uh, two gyms taken up. One half, yeah, this yeah. Half. This is one half, and the other half is on the other side. So if you go to your left over here, this way, Christian, follow me. Yes. And the other gym. There's another section. Which is cool because it was reserved for the panels, but uh, whatever they had in there, like they had the, the card games and like table setup, I feel like they could have just put that in this gym and it would have felt a little more full because we showed you earlier there was a big open space and that's just not being used. Uh, but yeah, so cool because you can experience the con while walking around not feeling like you're clustered, but also downside being you're not going to be around a lot of people, so maybe you don't get to uh, interact with a lot of people. Uh, the vendors that are here, they're cool. There could have been more, maybe just because it's in Mesa. It's a little further out than Phoenix Comic Con from Phoenix. So maybe we don't get as many uh, vendors here. But they filled it up with what they could. Uh, the people that we did interact with are really nice. Uh, a lot of vendors, uh, we said hi to them. They followed us, whatever. And some guy, even shout out to him. I believe he's Monster Comics. Is that what it was, Christian? Monster Comics. I think it's Monster Comics. He recognized us. He's like, hey, did you guys do the video last year? And I was like, oh, yeah, we were in line getting food. And he recognized us. So that's cool. Shout out to that guy if he's watching again. And uh, yeah. Overall, the con experience here on this day, Friday, UluCon day one, I'm going to give it like a 6 out of 10, just because it hasn't been really jumping yet, but maybe that's your thing, you don't want it to be jumping, so I don't know, but yeah, overall, nice experience, would I come again? Probably, but I might get my ticket a little sooner so I don't pay as much for it. What's going on guys, Benny's back, here at UluCon 2023 with the boys, uh, I would say overall, just with my little thoughts. I give it. I'm gonna go one up on everybody else. I'm gonna start off the rating seven out of ten. Uh, the boys gave it six out of ten. I'm giving it a seven because I'm here with my friends, my boys. So like, I think it's you know it's a bonus point for being with the homies. Um, uh, overall, it's definitely a bigger experience than it was last year. I think it was way smaller last year than this this time around. A lot more to look at, a lot more to do. Uh, I definitely think yeah, everyone had a much more friendlier vibe. And the thing about I love about cons is you kind of get to see, you know. A little bit of everything of the nerd community the anime community whatever you want to call it a uh, little bit you know polar opposites you got the people who are kind of like us like we didn't really dress up or nothing like that we kind of just showed up we have a little bit of a little bit of nerd swag on you know kind of just showing off a little bit showing off our good looks um and then you have you know the polar opposite you have people who dress to the t and super cosplays they made by themselves and you know just overall looking great and then you also have the dark side of the community people who are just you know we don't really talk about them. A little scary, a little too much, but you know, it's okay. Everyone's here, have a good time. Everyone's accepting. It's a great time. Overall, love it. Uh, any other thoughts? I was like, I mean, I picked up a couple things. I always do. I spend way too much money at these things. 
Um, but overall, I had a great time. I always love coming to these cons, no matter what, no matter how small, no matter how big, don't matter to me. One size fits all for Benny. Ah, convention time. It's a wonderful thing, really, getting an opportunity to come out to such a big show like this at Uwukon. I'm actually a first timer this year, and I have to say, overall, I'm surprised. I really wasn't anticipating a huge turnout, and I think that that's true to form. Being a Friday, it's going to be a lot slower, like Nate mentioned. We're not going to see as much foot traffic, and we're a bit further out as opposed to other conventions here in state. However, we've got vendors coming out from Florida, some other ones coming out from California, and even towards New York. So I think that was awesome. If you're looking to get anime or manga merchandise, this was probably the show to go to, to be completely honest with you. As a newer cosplayer myself, I'm a little sad. There really wasn't a lot of activity and action uh, like there was the last time we were out at Mesa. I believe that was the... Do you remember what show that was? Last time we were here in Mesa? Was it Game On? I think Game On was a greater reception for these sorts of things. Uh, but, no, I mean, overall, I had a really fun time. I think that the size of the place was a little daunting. At first, I didn't understand how they were going to use the space. I mean, if you look at everything, it's massive in here. Um, but there's still a secondary auditorium that's also filled with, you know, some games, some photo booth areas so that uh, anybody could come up and take their photos. I actually really like that part. Um, as well as, like, the typical, like, card section, the stage, your smash area. That stuff is a little more dead today. I feel like it's going to get a lot of play Saturday and Sunday as opposed to how things were today. Overall, I'm going to actually second the 6 out of 10 rating. I don't think this was bad, but this is not what I would come to if I'm looking for a traditional convention scene. Good show, but not for me. Damn, the DeLorean. And the Mystery Machine. The Mystery Machine, the DeLorean. All right. Elmer or, or Daphne? Who would I want to take on a nice little date? On a nice uh, romantic date. I feel like Velma for sure would give you better conversation, but Daphne is better eye candy, so I guess it depends if you want to be uh, seen with a hottie or if you want to see with somebody who's going to entertain you, so. I'm taking Fred. Oh, nice. Christian? Uh, Out of the Scooby Gang, who are you taking on a nice date? Out of the Scooby Gang, who am I taking on a nice date? Take, uh, Scooby's mom. She, oh, she does have a name. I don't know her name, but she's like, Scoobert Dubert. Mrs. Scoobert Dubert. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be another uh, con vlog for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy what you saw here today. Uh, thanks to these guys for joining me, as they always do. Uh, shout out to Benham. He drove. He's a, he's a designated driver. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe down below. As always, you can also follow us down below, all that stuff. And also comment down below. If you came to this con, where was your booth at? We didn't see you. Also comment down below uh, what things you would like us to do next. Where would you want us to go? Would you want us to do more cons? Would you want us to do less cons? What would you want us to do at the cons? Who knows? Anyway, all that stuff, do that down below. And also thank you guys for watching. And until next time, bye.